Literally, a dude talking to himself in the toilet. I kid you not, man. He's like one dude, like cooked out, man. Just being a sus. He was toilet. literally whistling to himself, talking, and I'm like, the door didn't have a lock. The one cubicle, <laughs> and I was like doing my business, and I felt the door open and hit my leg. <laughs> I like turn around. Oh, what? Yeah, bro. I the door they, opened. The door started like back oh, open because okay, yeah, it yeah. didn't have a lock on it. And then, that, then the door, like the main door, opens, and like he just. Whistling in there and then talking to himself, and I washed my hands and I walked in. The, I had to just see who was talking to me. And this no one there, man. What the? Like demons. Like. <laughs> <laughs>
How beautiful this is like we're not even on the main range trail we're on like the shortest easiest hike you know out of all the kind of tracks to get to the summit yeah. and even this is like spectacular we're probably gonna walk for another 10 15 minutes yeah. and then really start looking for a camp spot yeah we're gonna get the start yet so anyways we'll set up <laughs> camp So we just made it to the Kosciuszko point. This is where you can either do the main range, Charlotte's Pass, or straight up to the summit. We don't have much time. The so sun's running out and we gotta go find a camp spot really far. Basically, the situation that we're in is the sun setting to our left, which is right over Kosciuszko at the summit. So the valley that we're in is on the dark side. So it's getting pretty dark. Yeah, it's getting dark and cold. So what we're planning is taking this summit walk basically up probably another five, six hundred meters. And then I went up to this hill behind us and kind of scoped out what looks like a flat clearing, which we might be able to camp. Anyways, we thought we'd update you, let you know what's going on. We're sort of huffing it at the moment just to get to a campsite because we really... That's what we want. We want to be able to get this. Yeah. All the shots we want, the beautiful sunlight. The lighting now is ideal for everything. Like film photos, just general B-roll. And we want to be able to have enough light left to eat and set up. But anyways, if you're living and learn, it's all been a crazy experience. Let's get to this little flat area that we can see. And let's set up. <laughs> uh, but by the way, we are literally alone up here. Bro. We haven't seen anyone in what, like two hours, an hour? Yeah, dude. Since we dude. saw those last guys. No one's up here until tomorrow, like 8 o'clock, I reckon. 8.30, the chairlift open. It's hectic. It is a sense. Now you know why Shai does this shit. That sense of freedom, eh? Yeah, Even the solo, I reckon this would be a bad vibe. Dude. Anyways, vibes are crazy. Let's get to the campsite. Peace. of us like running down here dude this path here oh, damn, damn. Is this, damn. <laughs> right there That's bro right there. see here dude what the f man i reckon i'm gonna sit right here Thank you. 
Lord, this is beautiful. So I start thinking about UFOs and shit. I mean, it's like, you know, we have to see one tonight. Beam over us. So I definitely underestimated the cold, big time. Oh man. Ricky has literally saved my life with this water bottle. This is the first time seeing this conversation. <laughs> For us, this is some uh, really odd deja vu oh, because we just had this whole conversation with the mic off. But we basically just said, we've just finished packing up camp. Like we just finished the overnight, which was beautiful. And like we said before in the last vlog, like we ended up doing the short hike yeah. up here. But the good news is we get to take you along for like a two-nighter yeah. on the actual main range and do the 13Ks because yeah. Ricky was saying that's the more scenic route. Oh, the main range is like by far what I've seen photos, videos. That looks yeah. like such a crazy spot in terms of scenery. But yeah, I mean, we definitely plan it up for our next time. Maybe yeah. a bit warmer climate, but... Or maybe even the end of, end of winter so you still got the snow and stuff like yeah. that. You can prepare like warmer gear and yeah. shit like that, but... We get to take you guys along for a second second mission. Oh, we were saying that like, you could spend two weeks up here and not even scratch the surface. Yeah. Like there are so many hikes, like it's absolutely crazy. Cause gonna... the summit of Kosciuszko is right behind us. We're gonna go up, do the summit, get some photos, make our way back down, head yeah. to Jindabyne and start wrapping this trip up. Anyways, let's do it. Peace. Campsite done and dusted.
the f down there. This is more like that cliche family photo type, like you made it, like, you know. Down the bottom, done far out. Just have a look at this for a sec. 